Hello and welcome to this edition of Mornings. I'm Mara Slater. And I'm Matt Kreis. Today is Friday, March 10th, 2017, and a B-Day here at North Penn High School. Mr. Brumbaugh is back to test your trivia knowledge in this week's Artistic Brumbaugh Challenge. Remember to email your answers to nptv at npen.org. Here's your question. Hey, welcome to this week's Brumbaugh Challenge. This week we're going to do a little art. All right, ready? Here goes. How many paintings are attributed to one of the most famous artists in the world, Leonardo da Vinci? The answer, when we get back. It's time to hang another state championship banner here at North Penn. After the academic decathlon team narrowly missed a fourth straight state title last year, they're headed back to nationals as Pennsylvania state champs. The nine-member squad earned a trip to Madison, Wisconsin by outscoring 15 other schools to win its fourth title in the past five years. What made the victory even sweeter was the fact they were the hosts of the event and won gold right here at North Penn High School. The squad heads to Nationals in late April. Congratulations to the team members, as well as coaches, Mrs. Craig and Mrs. Tyree. This year's college fair got kicked up a few notches. You could say we've taken the next step. Tom Schmidz has a closer look. Today we have our very first career fair in tandem with the college fair and we have over 30 representatives from the community as well as mostly alumni who are here to talk to students and later on talk to families as well about who they are, what they do, how they got there. So I, I knew I was going to be paying for a... Good morning, my name is Mark Oxenrider. My name is Darren Nice. My name is Shirley Brown, Michelle. I'm currently a lieutenant with the Upper Dublin Police Department. I sell insurance, automobile, home, life. I'm a retired public school music teacher. This uh, college and career fair, just talking to the kids, let them know my story and how I progressed to where I am today. I'm here for the career day, uh, trying to inform the kids of potential jobs and uh, careers for them. I taught for more than 30 some years in several different schools. They don't necessarily have to know exactly what they want to do with the rest of their life today or tomorrow, next year, in five years. There's always options and opportunities. The reason behind the entire fair is to get students understanding what college is looking for, getting them information on the colleges, and also bringing in the career aspect to get students prepared for what it looks like in a career. I actually learned a lot here at the College and Career Fair today. I am really glad that North Penn was able to host a great event like this, and I hope that we'll be able to do it again in the future. And just thanks a lot, North Penn. Reporting for North Penn News, I'm Tom Schmitz. Recently, several North Penn Japanese language students went up against Montgomery County's best and came away with a bevy of awards in the MCATFL contest. Peter No, Ella McCoy, Peter Lee, Christine Ma, Lori Park, and Yan Ru Chen all brought home medals from the event. The annual contest provides students an outlet to measure their own oral skills in a foreign language, as well as compete against students from many other schools in the county through individual interviews. These interviews are conducted by foreign language professionals who determine whether students are mo which students are most proficient in their respective languages. An update from across the pond. Our North Penn High School engineering design and development students made it safely to London this week. The international conference is today and our students are presenting in just a few moments at 1245 London time, about 745 our time. So let's send them some good vibes as they are about to take the stage. We are all so proud of our students representing North Penn at the prestigious International Conference and can't wait to hear all the stories when they return. We will have full London coverage next week on Mornings. Night Crier reporter Nisa Gardizi was honored with three Keystone Press Awards. The Keystone Press Awards reinforce the excellence of individuals in the news media profession by recognizing journalism that consistently provides relevance, integrity, and initiative in serving readers. Gardizi placed first in the sports photo and news photo categories, and second in the sports story category. Awesome work, Anissa. And speaking of future careers, some North Penn Television and Night Crier members were given the chance to head down to the KYW news station and watch the new newscast live in studio. The day consisted of a tour through the building before the students met with news director Margaret Cronin and program director Perry Cassiato and learned about what led them to where they are today. Students even got a chance to talk to anchors Jim Donovan and Rahel Solomon, who gave them tips and advice on what to do if they choose to pursue the field of news journalism. A big thanks to the folks at KYW for having us. Hey, Aaron. Hey, Mara, what's up? Nothing much. How about you? Uh, do you guys get to go on that field trip for MPTV? 
Uh, no, neither of us are in the classes, so we weren't invited. What yeah. about you? I also was not invited, so I guess the three of us just missed out. I don't really know, <laughs> I don't really know what's up with that. <laughs> but let's get started with the lowdown. So, show your support for the girls and boys basketball teams by taking the booster bus. The cost is $10 and includes both your ticket to the game and your transportation. Sign up before noon today. The girls booster bus will be departing the high school sharply at 4.15 today. Juniors, also remember to buy your tickets for junior prom. Tickets are now $25. Starting March 15th, tickets will rise to $30. All obligations must be cleared before you purchase your tickets. Guest forms must be turned in at the time of purchase. These are available in the home office and in the, on the class of 2018 webpage. If you have any questions, see Mr. Hoon or Mr. Gucci in E25. Finally, we're happy to announce that over $425 were raised for our mini-thon this Wednesday at the Grub Burger Fundraiser. This coming Wednesday, be sure to come hungry to Texas Roadhouse for another mini-thon fundraiser. Hope to see you there. That's all we have. I'm Erin Huebner, and you've been Lowdown. Now back to the desk. Thanks, Erin. Block and Fire are back to show us a fun way to get exercise. Good morning and welcome to Fitness with Fry Fluck and Fry. Fry. We'd like to showcase what students here at North Bend High School are doing outside of school to stay fit. Today we have a special guest with us. <laughs> we have Dayla here with us. Dayla, what are you doing for today for us? I'm doing Zumba. What is Zumba? Zumba is a workout through dancing, um, usually Spanish. Okay. Do you have to be a salsa dancer to do this? No, not at all. Right. You think two guys like me and Mr. Fluck here could figure out Zumba? Yeah, I think you guys could pull it off. Okay, we'll bring some friends in to show us how to do it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> All right, let's go. That was really hard. It was a lot of fun. I could definitely see how people like doing that. Yeah. Dayla, thanks for coming in today. If any of you sitting out there want to come on the most popular segment here on the morning show and showcase something you do to stay fit, please get in contact with Mr. Fry or myself. Thank you for tuning into Fitness with Fluck Fry and Fry. Fry. Last week, we asked students what sport they would want to be in the Olympics for. Let's take a look. I would probably uh, throw javelins. Hopscotch. Archery. Pickleball. Med ball. Curling. Hold it. Cup stacking. Jump rope. Jump. Taco and burrito eating. Speed walking. Bowling. Extreme ironing. When you uh, when you iron in extreme places. Surfing. Rhythmic gymnastics. Cricket. For chess. Scuba diving. Hi, Mr. Monero. How you doing? Oh, I'm doing pretty good, Matt. How about yourself, bud? Doing pretty good. That's a pretty nice outfit you got on there. Where'd you get it? Um, well, Matt, I think you and I do not shop at the same store, it doesn't <laughs> look like. Uh, but this came from a very nice men's store in Philadelphia. How about you? Where'd you get your shirt? I just got this from Kohl's, you know. Nice yeah. store. It is a nice store. Should I talk now or you want to keep talking more? I think you got it. I think so, too, since this is the most popular segment on the morning show, despite what Mr. Fluck and Mr. Fry think. But I am here with Brie Phelps and Lily Yoder from the fashion classes at North Penn High School. Is that accurate? Yes. All right. The FCS department every year does a tremendous event. It's our high school fashion show, and it's coming up next week. So why don't you guys tell us all about it? All right. So next Thursday, third period, we have the fashion show. This year's theme is pop art. Mm -hmm. It's called uh, Back by Popular Demand. I get it. Pop <laughs> art pop. back pop. Yeah, yeah. yeah. What's, yeah. That, what's, like, what's the pop? What are we going to um, say? Well, it's going to be inspired by Andy Warhol. Oh, yeah. So the soup can guy. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Pops of color. You're going to wear a soup can? 
you'll have to see. Yeah. Okay. All right. <laughs> okay. What like when at the fashion show? If we go down and check it out, what kind of things happen? You guys have you do sort of like a runway and everything like that. So? Um, yeah, we use the stage as our runway, mm -hmm. so we have the models walking down. We're gonna have the dance team there this year again. Okay. And we're gonna have a cool PowerPoint kind of showing you what pop art is and examples of pop art and fashion today. Um, and a little, we'll give you a little background on what pop art is and how you'll see it show up in the world today. Cool. You guys also usually have a um, special guest that appears. Will there be any special guests appearing on there stage? There will be. We'll have some alumni coming back. More than one there? special guest. Yeah. Okay, good, yeah. good, good, good. <laughs> Talk a little bit about what goes into the fashion show. What did you guys do in your classes and, and, and out of class to get ready for it? Um, well, we started probably around December looking yeah. at ideas. A lot of hard work. Um, people yeah. showcase their talents through sewing and picking out their projects. Um, and just a lot of like hard work goes into the projects, yeah. and you get to see the girls strut their stuff and show what they yeah. got. Yeah. All right, fantastic. So next Thursday? Yeah. Yes, be there at B Square. <laughs> yes, be there at B Square next Thursday, third period. Hopefully, your teacher signed you up. I know earlier this week there were still openings, so I'm not sure yeah. what the seating capacity is right now in terms of what's filled. But hopefully, you guys can get down there, check it out. And if not, my guess is. It's probably going to be broadcast on MPTV. Yeah. Yeah, it usually is. All right, have fun at the fashion show. Congrats on all the great work. North Penn, it is March, and it is snowing, <laughs> and nobody wants to see that, but we must embrace it because that's what we have. So have a great weekend, everybody. Enjoy the cold weather and whatever else comes our way next week. And Matt Marr, you guys are doing an awesome job at the desk today, so let's kick it up a notch and finish the show on a strong note. What do you say? Sounds yeah. good. Thanks, Mr. Monero. All right. After their deal to buy the entire North Penn School District went south, the dudes go bankrupt. Will they survive hitting rock bottom? Let's find out. Well, I gotta say, that definitely was not my proudest moment. Why the sinkhole, Liam? I thought it would improve education. How? Geology? I don't know. Dad, how's dinner coming? Well, I've got some good news and I got some bad news. Yeah? I found some leftover cafeteria food. Gross. Yeah, well, here's the thing. So has Steve. The rat. We started off as friends, but I think he's gonna turn on me. You filthy traitor! Well, now we're broke and we're gonna need a rabies shot for Dan. I think I have a solution. Oh, so you faked your death. So you're a traitor and a coward! Well, don't worry guys, I got a plan. Yo, T-Dog! Yeah, we're gonna need a plan B. Well, luckily, I've got a plan C. Spare change. Spare change. Pathetic. I don't think this is working. Yo, homeless people, do you want a job? Oh no, we're not homeless. Oh, yes, please, yes, yes, please. Well then, what are you waiting for? Follow me. Doesn't this seem a little too convenient? Well, judging by how this year is going, I've just learned not to question anything anymore. this morning. Hi Mar, I'm great. How are you guys? We're doing pretty good. Hey Nisa, those were some pretty amazing awards you got. What were what was those about specifically? Oh thanks. Well if you want to get into specifics, the sports picture was from a boys soccer game where they were all huddled up on the field before the game. Um, the news picture was from a band concert. I believe it was Hayden McKay on the trumpet. And then the article was what I wrote about Sam Karanji hitting a thousand points against CB West. Wow that's pretty amazing. You've done a great job with the night crier. Thanks Matt. Well, let's get started with sports. State playoffs for basketball begin this weekend as the girls take on Cedar Crest tonight at Lebanon High School at 6.30 p.m. Also, the boys will play Reading tomorrow afternoon at 4 at Kutztown University. Best of luck to our teams in Pennsylvania's March Madness. Four wrestlers are currently at the state tournament in Hershey. Will Lachlan, Ryan Cody, and Owen Veresby lost two matches yesterday, but Colin Shannon won his opening match. With the win in the quarterfinals this afternoon, he will clinch a state medal. Good luck, Colin. Our girls swim team won the PIAA district championships for the fifth year in a row. Senior Kaylin Evans had a fantastic meet, winning first place in the 200-yard individual medley and breaking three records, one of which was set by her mom when she swam here at North Penn. The girls will be sending an impressive 11 swimmers and divers to the state competition next week. Joining them will be nine boys who also qualified at the district meet. The boys team had a strong meet, winning the district championship as well. Sean Fakish and Aiden Daly scored big points for the team, placing first and second in the 500 freestyle. Congratulations to both teams and good luck at States. 
The girls' indoor track and field team had their indoor state championship and took second place at the meet. They also clinched first place in the 4x8 relay and the 400m dash. School records were broken and third place awards were given to the 800m dash and the 4x2 relay. Great job this winter and good luck this spring to the girls' track team. Monday marked the start of the 2017 spring sports season, so stay tuned for more softball, baseball, lacrosse, volleyball, and spring track and field action in the coming weeks. That's all we have for this sports update. I'm Anissa Gardizi. Now back to the desk. Thanks, Anissa. Mr. Brumball is back once again with the answer to this week's Brumball Challenge. Hey, welcome back. The answer you've all been waiting for. Surprisingly enough, only 17 paintings are attributed to Leonardo da Vinci. Bet you didn't know that? Now you do. Thanks for playing this week's Brumball Challenge. Sadly, there are no winners this week, but that's all we have for this edition of Mornings. I'm Mara Slater. And I'm Matt Kreis. In just a few moments, our engineering students take the stage. We just got this brief message from them right before the start, and it's just another reason why we love North Penn. Good morning, North Penn High School. We are super excited to be here in London to present at the International Science Conference at St. Paul's. We're representing the Technology and Engineering Education Department, the Engineering Academy, all 27 engineering design and development students, uh, the students across the nation, and uh, we're super excited, so we can't wait. Thank you so much for all of your support. 